Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new set of freedom. This is CME uh, Wi-Fi uh, from Obico. It's not a real new model. In fact, it has been introduced maybe six months ago, but now it's available in all the Chinese web server and the price has been massively decreased. This machine can be found under $80. That's great. What we have, we have a brush machine, of I said, but with a 1080p camera and some advanced flight mode so target uh, centering and follow me. You have on top a GPS for uh, altitude uh, stabilization. That's great for $80. This model is a selfie drone, so don't expect to have a super great range with, but it's just to shoot some basic videos. Uh, it was advertised, at least on the Banged website, that there is uh, the electronic image stabilization feature. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a true uh, uh, features installed. Anyway, we will check everything, okay, and now let's discover the content of this box. First of all, the box is pretty nice, very high quality bundle. You can find on the rear the main uh, characteristics. So, um, 8 uh, megapixels, 1080p uh, camera. You have features to uh, have a three automatic 360 panoramic videos, so the drone will turn on itself, safe rotating. Burst pictures, daily timer. You have also uh, uh, for uh, share with your favorite social networks and easy access gallery features. As a flight mode, we have auto takeoff, auto landing, find me. Okay, it will target automatically the order of the smartphone or the tablet, the follow me and return to home. Works if obviously with iOS or Android. Okay, so let's open and to open it, it's super easy. You have a magnet uh, system, locking system, so that's great. As you can see, pretty in color, high quality uh, a box. And first raise the first top plastic cover and you will access to the drone itself. So let's start with accessories. We have this bundle with Instruction manual, okay, just open it and first thing, the instruction manual is extremely well done and it's super rare when it's, it's like this, so you have to be noticed. So semi, bravo, you have everything uh, clear, very well English written, okay, and especially what I really like is all the calibration procedure, very well done and very dedicated for beginners. So we have this paper, but you can find also all the help in the uh, interface, okay, you can directly open the PDF file associated with. So as you can see on the first main pages, you have all the uh, role of each virtual button on the main interface. The level of the GPS, the level of the Wi-Fi, uh, the gallery, the settings, you can turn off on the flash. Okay, you can share with two different social networks, 360 degrees features. Here you have the follow me and the find me, okay all the role of everything, how to control, how to charge. So on the rear side, you have a micro USB port where you will be able to recharge the 750 milliamps power. It's not a LiPo, I guess it's a LE high voltage battery. So let's continue with the accessories. We have a set of spare props, okay? And if you are interested with, they are exactly Okay, we reset. They're exactly some, uh, some about some 60, or oh, hmm, it's quite large, something about 70, uh, 374 millimeters, so pretty large. It's a, so it should boost the power lift. Be aware it's a brush system but with a gear system. So let's continue with the accessories. We have four prop blades. Um, in the instruction, they recommend to install them anytime, okay? But I will fly without to gain a little bit some flight time. A USB to micro USB, okay? And associated with the charger, uh, you will have to provide your own local socket adapter, um, okay, for Europe, US, or whatever. And uh, it's announced to charge the built-in battery with one hour, 14 minutes. 
Okay, so now let's discover a little bit the um, quadcopter. Let's measure the uh, uh, weight, okay? And immediately uh, I can notice that the quality of the plastic is super good. So standalone, this quadcopter is about 147.1 gram. Okay, let's start. On the rear side, and I already pre insert one, uh, you will have to give to provide your own micro USB, uh, micro SD card. I, here I use a uh, class 10 U3, so one of the fastest cards available, to be sure that I won't lost any frame rate. No problem, it's, it's a 32 gigabytes, it's perfectly recognized. On the rear, you have the micro USB port where you will be able to recharge the uh, battery. Notice that there is a small, small, small light here okay turning to solid green when it's charging and be off when the charging is all done okay so let's focus now on the top nothing except the c logo on the bottom side we have a small button here this is a main power button you will need to press it more and hold it more than three seconds to turn on the quadcopter first you will see some flashing leds okay and when the on top will start to flash slowly if i'm not wrong the um, powering system is completely engaged. Let's do it. I'm pressing, fast flashing, and then the light, front light is here, it's booting. Okay, so now it's turned on. How to turn off the machine? The same. Press and hold this button a couple of seconds, and it will stop to uh, be powered. Okay, on the front side, we have, as you saw, a frontal white visible LEDs, so great to keep your loss um, orientation, okay? And here, this is a camera. As you can notice here, we have this camera based installed on a kind of mini uh, tiltable system. So you can tilt down with close to minus 90 degrees and horizontally up to zero, no possibility to set it the angle positively. Uh, as far as I know, is not be able you cannot be able to control this uh, lens orientation via the um, interface is not there is no motor uh, no uh, uh, small gear uh, motors to to control this uh, one axis uh, gimbal okay so you will have to before your um, takeoff to set your uh, angle something like this if you want to uh, uh, take some videos in selfie mode so uh, as you can see uh, the drone is got some foldable arms so just need to uh, re retract them okay like this so for the rear one is pretty easy but for the one you know you really need to to install your finger very deeply to uh, uh, catch the uh, front arms and but it can be done there is a kind of small hooks here uh, on the uh, from the uh, prop guard system where you can catch with your nails uh, the uh, front arm. Okay, here is the machine. So let's give some dimension and fold it. So it should be about a um, little bit more than 15 uh, centimeters. It's close to 20 and folded. Okay, so it's not so large, and but it uh, sounds pretty good it's slide the quality of the plastic is nice it's a brilliant plastic but you can feel that it is not a direct recycled plastic so i'm not so afraid about the uh, uh, plastic durability of the structure we have a gear system okay here inside so the motor install horizontally it means that there is a gear uh, box here uh, to transfer with a 45 degrees uh, gear system to uh, rotate vertically after the uh, props they are just installed on the shaft okay so you will need to gently uh, uh, use a wrench to pry and to extract each props okay uh, they are turning in the normal way it means that here this is a co clockwise counterclockwise and so on so uh, as warning for each gear and brush system you know that uh, such kind of motor got uh, a nominal durability after a couple of flights they can uh, be damaged seriously especially with the gear system 
increasing the stress on uh, this type of brush motor. So uh, what I really like with the CME, uh, the motor maintenance is pretty obvious. You just need to remove this one, two, three, four uh, screws to remove the top cover and then you can access directly to the internal part of the motor where motors are installed with a connector. So it's really easy to perform the motor maintenance if you break one. So I always advise to store at least one clockwise and one counterclockwise in advance. You don't know when it will fail, okay? And especially after a crash, okay? Or if you're flying, you're landing over grass, some uh, uh, herbs, some uh, vegetables can uh, go inside the shaft, increasing the friction and really before each takeoff, be sure to control manually like this. If each uh, props can spin very freely, no friction must be observed. It's very important for the durability of the uh, motors. Okay, so when is, now this warning is done. And what I really like is the uh, interface. Really, f uh, really one of the best uh, uh, reviewed, uh, the same type of quality that the apps and apps. Okay, but um, first, you will have, I will turn on the quadcopter, so by and holding this button, okay, and after a couple of seconds, this uh, green LED stays so here, the front one. So after a couple of seconds, um, the Wi-Fi device will be visible, okay, so I already installed the uh, CME application, so you have to go, okay, in the uh, Play Store, um, okay, and type see me camera, okay, or see me um, like this camera, you can be, you will be able to find it, okay, church, and this is the first here uh, application, okay, so it's available for both iOS and Android, okay, so we'll open it. And um, be sure that the first thing to do is to uh, connect the, um, the machine to your Wi-Fi, okay? So you can go to the settings and select the uh, CME here. And the default fa password is 12345678, okay? So when it's connected, you can run now the application. So uh, you have the main one and it's super visible and here you have the setting here the button um, but where you can select which social network you want to be associated with you have two uh, link buttons so for example here is two facebook account but you can choose different type of social networks you have first on the top right some settings about the camera when you can select the white balance exposure contrast brightness and reset all the settings you have the device where you can change, for example, the uh, SSIDs, the password, okay? And help, so that's great because you have a quick start where everything is here, okay? The main characteristics, but you have also the main uh, see me instruction where everything is complete. You have the main characteristics, so it's about 150 grams, we observe that. The dimension folded and unfolded, the size of the uh, prop and so on, and especially on the bottom, uh, everything is very well done, very impressive in this. Uh, you have all the replacement, how the, uh, the system is done, okay? So you have the gear system here, the bolt bearing as well, the dimension of them. Uh, everything is clear. You have the type of motor, so it's uh, 8 mm, okay? 80s pinion, so you have to select one with 80s, okay? And for example, how to change the armor replacement and so on is very, very, very well done. Okay, so on the, on the first part, you will find all the characteristics of the each roll of each button of the interface. I will explain in a few seconds. So really the help is really well done. So you have even a specific section for the proper uh, uh, replacing. Okay, that's great. You need a small uh, uh, screwdriver to pry and so on. It's very, very well done. So um, you can calibrate and it's one of the very good things I observed. All the calibration. So they advise to calibrate your phone or your tablet. Sorry. And first to make the uh, follow me accuracy more uh, uh, better. So you have to calibrate your device. You say 
to make some eight like this okay and after a couple of seconds you will increase the accuracy but the best thing is uh, how for example the um, uh, the accelerometer has calibrate so they say it first to connect to the machine okay that's what we'll do um, okay we first connect to the machine okay connect connecting okay relaunch the application so immediately we will see the in real life the uh, live FPV okay no problem so uh, we will return to the calibration calibration accelerometer so begin calibration you have to be sure to be on a flat surface and you have the progression bar that's great it's done pretty well done and the calibra compass calibration is even better look that they say to rotate you have a special really you have to 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 see to follow the uh, instruction okay super well done okay and after a couple of seconds you will change the axis okay okay so we have to re redo the calibration so I will repress begin calibration okay and compass calibration I don't know why the lever operation is not starting was working fine yesterday but believe me it's uh, really well done okay I will resume okay now it's working okay now vertically you have to have the the uh, machine like this turn like this okay now calibration successfully so really i like the way how it's calibrated now you return to the main interface you can see the fpv rendering okay the latency is about 0 0.3 0 0.4 so uh, it's advertised to have a refilling about 20 meters yes it's not huge but it's a selfie drone okay so don't expect too much you want just to make some um, basic videos so in terms of advantage features we can select at least three 360 frames per second okay like this and the um, um, follow me which is uh, this one and the uh, uh, target centering find me which is this one what is missing uh, uh, an orbit mode as for advanced flight mode I'm deeply regret uh, anyway you have a uh, here this button to take a photos is this one to record you have a time lapse up print okay and when is recording two files are saved one in this micro sd card with high resolution 1080p um, frame per second 30 frame per second and another one directly on your interface okay here okay and save in lower resolution it's coming from the transmitted wi-fi link so it's got a lower quality for sure here you have the remaining level of uh, um, uh, of the micro sd card so it's full here the level of the battery the level of the wi-fi link here the level of the gps okay actually i'm not receiving uh, some uh, gps because i am door here you have the main uh, button to unlock okay so if you press it few seconds it will ask you if you want to fly outdoors or indoors okay so we will uh, uh, make indoors like this okay uh, cancel okay and we will do more testing outdoors and then when it's unlocked you will can press the takeoff button here we have the share uh, gallery i'll show you previously you have the uh, main okay where you can replay uh, some uh, former recorded file okay and uh, everything is clear so really i like the way and uh, we have the main forward left and right virtual button here to tune the altitude and here if you swap with your sum for example you can uh, playing with the yaw okay there is no specific circle like this 
it's a strange mixture between uh, altitude and yaw. Uh, they cannot be tuned simultaneously. Maybe I would prefer a second uh, circle, virtual circle like this. Anyway, it's like this. No possibility to to change this type of control for a normal two uh, uh, sticks, um, uh, two ports like this. Um, really I like okay and uh, we will see in few and cent how is doing how doors how the quality of the uh, uh, camera but what i can say um, there is no sign of electronic image stabilization okay so uh, we can make some first pre-conclusion before testing uh, what is missing the image electronic stabilization seems to be not here uh, orbit flight mode surrounding flight mode um, it's a bit uh, a lack because for a selfie drone is very useful and I will say the more important in terms of structure of the machine the battery cannot be removed so when you are in the field when you end it with your flight you will need to use a, a power bank like this with your USB to recharge in the field and during one hour, 40 minutes. That's really, for me, the main drawback of such type of machine. They didn't think to uh, have a removable uh, battery. Okay, so now I had done the tour of the main characteristic. It's time to check this machine and the performances in the field. Welcome to the demo flight of the CME from Obicom. So today is uh, completely wind free, so probably you will see the best results you can obtain in terms of uh, stabilization if it's confirmed that the image electronic image stabilization system is not here or very slight not really improving the situation uh, it was raining a lot of recent days so it's full of water okay and uh, i just have a just small period before the next coming rain anyway Let's enjoy it. I will connect to the uh, main application and I will record both uh, the uh, results obtained from the apps as well as the chain ATP uh, footage recorded directly on the micro SD card. Let's go. Okay, so I'm recording both system. I will run the uh, CME. Um, okay, it's actually analyzing the GPS. So I will have to wait a couple of seconds until I will receive uh, some GPS signal. As you can see, the quality number is increasing fast, 31, 36, and so on. And you can use the GPS as soon as the uh, quality is over, uh, I, can, I think it's something about 60 or 70 percent. Okay, so uh, the uh, GPS accuracy is improving very fast. So in a couple of seconds, it will be okay. Uh, also in clean the uh, uh, camera the tilt angle about minus uh, 10 minus 15 degrees more to shoot some uh, selfie videos okay so uh, 84 uh, the gps signal seems stronger and now i will press the uh, um, locker to and hold the button for three seconds and i will select the outdoors mode I'm ready to uh, take off, but I will press first recording, okay, and then orders and press take off. Okay, so I will unlock orders and voila, and now I will record. Okay, so I will check that. So okay so now it's time to check how to wow uh, first thing the recording and on the ca it's super good uh, since there is no image stabilization is definitively confirmed in wind free condition is absolutely uh, uh, clear that there is no stabilization but it's not so bad I'm looking for the uh, how to um, play with the yaw. Yes. So you have to. Okay. To slide like this. Okay. To play with the yaw. It's not very clear. No indication on the interface. But at least you have something. Uh, in terms of command, it's clear it's in a selfie drone mode, okay? At least for the forward-backward movement. So, 
Uh, let's try to perform a uh, follow me. Okay, so we click on the follow me. And let's see that if you will try to follow me. Yes. So it's a GPS based, okay, only. And uh, so you know that the accuracy with the will be around one two meter of precision. So uh, there's no visual tracking, uh, but it's not so bad. So you have to hold, calibrate, and it seems to work fine. Uh, I'm more or less all the time in the uh, in the scene, so no real problem. I will accelerate. Okay, to see if it's following me. Yes, it's following me, no problem. Yeah, we increase a bit the altitude. Try to play a oh, little bit with Aya and let's continue. So the, um, the target tracking is working well. Oh, well, the field here is completely into as you can see is he's following me yes no problem it's really working well for a small drone what about the working fine okay so we stop and now I will play with the find me so in theory it should stay I will press it it should stay, okay, and the uh, the uh, camera, the uh, quadcopter will stay in. Uh, oh, what I observe, it's a kind of uh, toilet boiling effect. So it means that I will need to uh, improve the GPS accuracy. But okay. Oh, and the battery is already super weak. It's strange because I've got only only three minutes and a full charge of battery. But let's see if it's try to 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 point in my direction. Oh, I have to press. Yes, as you can see, each time I press, the pointing is targeting me. But why is not doing that permanently? Yes. So we do it a fraction of second. So if you are not where where is the draw and so on, just press the find me, and it will automatically target. Uh, your position. Oh, it's working fine. No problem. I found that the battery statues is not super uh, accurate. And look that, I've got a small toy in effect, so I need to improve the accuracy. Anyway, I will go here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, so I need to land. I will land because the accuracy is not, as you can see, I've got a super toying boy in the effect. Okay, so I need to perform better and we stop recording. I need to perform better the um, GPS, uh, the uh, calibration, so I will do it. Okay, it was not maybe super well done before, but I really like always the procedure. So I will go to this surface. Okay, go to the settings, go to the calibrate and go to the compass calibration. I will rotate all like this. Okay, okay, and now rear try to turn like this. Okay, calibration successfully. We will see. It will start to reconnect. So, I will press unlock the system. Yes, our doors. And look the battery. Uh, and, and record. Okay, I have to, to shift. Okay, the yaw movement is pretty slow. Okay. Okay. I will increase the altitude a bit. And let's check that. Yes, the GPS 
well, still observe some little uh, deviation, okay? Even if the quality of the GPS receive signal is not bad, well, it's better, it's better. But look that, it's time to, to move away by itself. Where is it going? Oh, well, well, my. Okay, it's not super clear in terms of precision. So be aware to do very well done the uh, uh, compass calibration. Let's see in terms of how this machine is handling. Okay, I've got the flashing statues for the battery. So I think I have something about six minutes. Yes, now the machine is uh, seems to be uh, completely under the power toilet effect. So I think it's time to land gently. Is a press landing, please landing. I hope it will land. I will stop record. Yes, it's landing. Yes. Okay, we stop recording one more time. So, um, I got something about six, seven minutes of flight time. Okay. Um, definitely, the compass calibration must be uh, better. Uh, done in better way because I observed some toilet effects. I don't know if it needs for example to hide some EMI paper and start on top to improve the uh, GPS, the shielding of the GPS, okay. As, and you notice also that the uh, battery uh, and is uh, voltage indication is dropping a lot and a load and as soon as I stop the motors uh, the battery statues uh, remain more higher. So here I've got uh, something about 100 about GPS uh, quality. I want to perform one more time the uh, calibration. So I will perform the compass. I will turn, okay, like this. I want to do it very well because I'm not satisfied with the uh, actual compass. Okay, and as soon as the machine will indicate to change the axis, Okay, failure. Mm -hmm. So I will redo it. Okay. To change about 50, 60 percent the axis. I don't know why. I don't want to change the axis of calibration. Try again or new location. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe higher to be not. Maybe there are some metal parts in the ground. Okay. Okay. I found that the second axis uh, calibration is uh, much faster than the uh, uh, first axis. Uh, maybe to spend more time into uh, the uh, second axis of during the compass calibration. Anyway, I will try to uh, take off outdoors test. Okay. And take off. Battery too low, can take off. Okay, so uh, how we hand uh, this demo flight uh, about six, seven minutes of flight time. Um, well, the positive, despite to not have any image stabilization, well, the 10 ATP footage is not so bad, really. Uh, for a uh, dollars machine, uh, is really, um, really not bad. Uh, it's much better, for example, than the uh, Epson 502, for example. In terms of flight time, it's not amazing, okay? Uh, seven, eight minutes while recording. What I really like uh, 
is the um, a finite function uh, you are not seeing the scene just press this button and the uh, quadcopter will automatically target uh, your position the follow me is not so bad okay for uh, uh, this uh, type of uh, I don't know if it's a toys quadcopter is something in the middle you know it's not a professional of course but it's no more a toys quadcopter what is missing uh, an orbit flight mode I think it can be added only by uh, a software it don't you don't need really a new firmware but uh, I don't know you have a micro SD port so a micro USB and you can maybe flash a new firmware for this machine this might be possible to have an orbit flight mode uh, what I like the main interface I really like even if I not I dislike the uh, uh, the absence of your uh, feedback on your interface so mm -hmm, you need to swipe uh, left and right okay um, but anyway uh, the the interface is really beginner friendly uh, the compass procedure are clear I really like it so for eighty dollars it's enter and a very interesting model um, okay uh, what is missing of course the possibility to exchange for fresh battery uh, that's uh, my main drawback but maybe some mode can be added maybe okay so um, I hope you enjoy this new video if you like it please submit and see you next time bye bye